Mexico. Baby, on our way to Harvard the Grace. Woohoo! On our way to Harvard the Grace. Woohoo! The sun is coming out. Started a gloomy day, but it's turning into a beautiful sunny day. We will see. Here at the bridge, enjoying the ride. Woohoo! It's gonna be about an hour, so not too long. It's nice uh, uh, to break the day. It's about noon, lunchtime. Harvard the Grace. Uh, it used to be, it's a historical town, supposedly used to be a port in the 1700s, more important than Baltimore because of the deep water. But, uh, you know, it supposedly got, a, it got shallow over the years, the centuries, and, and you know, now it's just like a small historical town. So it would be nice to learn the history and check it out. Woohoo! So Harvard the Grace is a straight that way, but we gotta go all the way around because this is all shallow water. This Harvard the Grace is right in the mouth of the Susquehanna River. Susquehanna River comes from Pennsylvania. It's a huge long river that comes from the mountains in Pennsylvania. And uh, uh, it's the biggest river that fits, well, one of the biggest rivers that fits the Chesapeake Bay. But unfortunately with the centuries of erosion and farming, uh, all the, the, the dirt that runs off into the river, runs on into the bay, it made the, the port of Harvard the Grace really shallow. Uh, you know, you have to continuously trench all this area. And also it brings all this, uh, you know, dirt into the Chesapeake Bay. The Chesapeake Bay used to be deep and it used to be uh, clear water back in the 1700s, uh, 1700s, 1600s when John Smith arrived. But unfortunately, all the farming, all the erosion uh, have made it shallow and the water, as you can see, is a greenish dark, you know, so, but it is what it is, you know, the restoration, uh, Chesapeake Bay Foundation, it's a lot of uh, organizations working to restore the bay as, you know, as much as we can, so, all right, let's support the bay, woo, -woo! Baby, we made it to Harbor the Grace, check it out. From here, super charming town, just like we read about it. Sailboats, the lighthouse is right there. Nice bridge of the Susquehanna River. This is the mouth of the Susquehanna River. That goes to Pennsylvania. So far, so good, baby. Cover the grace. Baby, we made it to Harvard the Grace. <clears throat> a beautiful day. They put us here in a, I don't know, the marina. It's not convincing me 100%. The, the, the algae is so gross. I thought it was going to hit ground because my, my, my dead founder was, was reading two feet under my keel. But the guy that handling the lines told me that no, it's the, it's the algae. Look at the algae. And then we are here in the bulkheads. I mean, they, they don't have uh, floating docks or anything modern. We're kind of almost on the outside, so it's nice and fresh, the breeze. It's kind of, I don't know, mosquitoes. And I hope my, my air conditioner is not sucking up uh, algae and the strainer getting sucked. We'll see. I mean, we set up here for now. We're gonna walk around the marina. If we find a better place, we're gonna ask for it. Over here, Harbor the Grace, Tidewater Marina.
All right, baby, let's go bike Harvard the Grace. So we're here in uh, Tidewater Marina. And uh, we finished work today, and we're gonna go check out the town before it gets dark. Baby, follow the street for the restaurants. Well, it's actually restaurants in both ways. <laughs> Baby, check it out. Harvard the Grace Farmer Markets. Every Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. We gotta make it. Baby, this town has music actually on the streets. Check it out. <laughs> Super nice. This is what that uh, art of the bay. Look at this, baby. We should come here for coffee tomorrow to this coffee shop. Super cute. So this plaza was named after a French general that passed through here in 1781. Check it out, how cute. Look at that, we're gonna go up the street in a little bit. Woo. Yeah, cover the grace. Baby, we were starving, so we came directly to Tide Water Grill. Right in front of the water. It's gonna be good. Let's do it. Yep, Tide Water Grill. Right on the water. Baby, here in Herbert the Grace, enjoying an amazing wine. Look at the train is going by in the historical bridge. Here in this restaurant waterfront. Having a good time. the grace cheers we made it check it out the salmon just so juicy it's really juicy and the potato looks like you know real mashed potato and look at my pasta the sauce is not all watery so it's nice to stick to the pasta wow baby and right in the waterfront enjoy it So here in Harvard the Grace, next day after our arrival, it's lunch time, so we're gonna go grab a bite and explore just a couple of the marinas around us to see if uh, we could get something better. But, you know, this marina is okay. Maybe something better, we don't know. And it seems to be a public dock over there too, we're gonna check it out, maybe we get a few free, free, free days. <laughs> but uh, the day is beautiful, it was hot yesterday, Huge, it rained all night, windy and rainy, and now it's beautiful fall day. It's about 65, 68 degrees with the blue skies. We're gonna enjoy it. This is the time of weather I really like for boating. Interesting fact, Harvard the Grace used to be huge on horse racing. Look at the old picture. Uh, one of the best horses used to come from here. This is a, one of the, the historical ticket booths for the house racing, uh, horse racing. Tells all the story. And then next to it, look at this, they put a, 
Community Garden. So anybody can come here and can take care of the plants and plant some uh, vegetables, tomatoes. Look, baby, we should take some tomatoes I know. to cook later. Look at that. Huge ones too. That was a little one. Are we just allowed to take it? Peppers too? What kind of peppers? Oh wow, look at those red peppers. Very nice. All right, super interesting. These murals here depict some of the historical um, events and, and, and events that happened in this town back in the days. Look at this, this used to be a whorehouse. The red onion that is missing from the local history books. Look at that, they have a moral about it. And they have one more, some of the history here. Preserve our history, Harvard the Grace. Check this out. The Underground Railroad. The War of 1812. John and Matilda. I don't even know the story. It would be nice to read about it. And of course the horse racing history. We found this public park with some ducks. Let's check it out, baby. Okay, baby, we found this public park. Look at that, it's just a public park with uh, three full floating ducks. Look at this. I, mean, I don't know how deep this is. It wasn't in the charts. I did research about it. I couldn't find anything. Um, looks a little run down. But we technically could fit here, and I even see electrical power, 30 amp and 50 amp. Hmm. I wonder if it still works, and it will be fine to, you know, save some money, baby. And you know, anytime you want to come to Harbor the Grace, you don't want to pay the marina. You can probably just fit here for a couple of days. There's no rules. I, I read all the rules in the walls. There's nothing that says not overnight or no ducking. So. Mm, I'm gonna do some research about it and we'll find out baby pretty nice park right right in the middle of the center of the city so this is Washington Street parallel to the main street but this is actually more more popular you know has more restaurants it's one up from the water so most restaurants cafes more action you can see check it out Tables outside. Coffee shop. Gift shops. Wow. Nice street, baby. Washington Street. Nice and historical. And the restaurant continues. It's actually two blocks of attractions. And eventually Washington will merge where we were yesterday with the main street right here in this park. Yeah, very nice town. Lots to do for a small town. Baby! Another cool bar with a patio. Live music. Super nice. Cockles. Check it out. Baby, this is the Concord Point Park where the war boardwalk starts and the lighthouse is. We're gonna follow it. Here's the world, world walk starts, baby. Woo Very nice park with a boardwalk right by the water. It's supposed to be really long with a lot of uh, history explaining the history of the town. We'll see.
This is a statue of the rockfish, the signature dish of the Chesapeake Bay. So this is the iconic lighthouse here in Herbert the Grace with a lot of history. The lighthouse indicates the end of the Susquehanna River and the beginning of the Chesapeake Bay. Right over there. Check it out. So the lighthouse was uh, constructed in 1827 to indicate the boats that uh, the Chesapeake Bay was ending and the Susquehanna River was starting. This town was also part of the, the War of 1812. Um, it was actually um, um, conquered by the British forces. Uh, this site was one of the sites where the, the, the town's defense was. And this cannon is supposed to represent, actually it's supposed to be the actual cannon used to defend against the British batteries. Incredible, huh? And you can read all that. Yeah, a little more information about the British invasion landing in the town in 1812. Only 20 defenders against 400 British forces. Amazing. Now it's a pier, public pier. Check it out. You can come and swim and uh, fish. Not swim, but fish and bring their boats. Maybe, look, maybe a potential public piers. We can duck here for free next time. <laughs> Not very protected, but... What are you gonna do? The housekeeper's uh, the lighthouse housekeeper, John O'Neill, he by himself he defended the town against the British. Uh, he was a rewarded hero and gave him this house. That is still uh, it's kept to date. Check it out. The lighthouse is right over there, and the house is right here. Let's check it out. Baby, right off the boardwalk is the Herbert the Grace Museum. Check it out. This is a whole boardwalk map. Uh, this is the famous Herbert the Grace Maritime Museum. It's probably closed, baby. Let's go check it out.
Wow, amazing view of the Chesapeake Bay. Beautiful. Right in the entrance for Harbor the Grace. And at the end of the boardwalk is the marina. I forgot the name of this marina. I, I looked into it. Mostly very nice, but we'll see. And the restaurants over there too. We're gonna try, it, baby. I want a soft shell crab sandwich. It's called Hover the Grace City Yacht Base of Marina. Nice. And this is the memorial park at the end of the boardwalk facing the water, facing the marina in memory of the fallen heroes in the different wars super nice, check this out And that's the re baby, that's the restaurant where we're going. The prominent grill facing the water, right by the marina. Very nice. So we're having early dinner here at this uh, iconic restaurant at Promenade School. Check it out. It's, it's more like sandwiches and stuff, but it's like all local, you know, soft shell crabs and fried fish. Really good, really famous. <laughs> It's uh, right facing the bay. Very nice seating right up here. Right, baby? Check it out. Promenade restaurant. Right, baby, check it out. You got a soft shell crab. Look at that. Wow, that looks incredible. It's a rockfish sandwich. And we had to try the uh, pit beef because it's local and in the herd is really good. Right in front of the bay. Baby here watching the sunset and the moonrise at the same time. Amazing. The beautiful Harbor the Grace. Check out that moon. Ooh, huge. Beautiful. Beautiful. And a beautiful day here, baby, in Harbor the Grace. Sitting in a beautiful bench, a beautiful park after a super nice meal, enjoying an ice cream. So delicious. Mm -hmm, beautiful day, baby. Mwah. Thank you, baby. Look at that moon again. Wow. Baby, it's Friday. Let's go. Friday night, finish working here in Harvard the Grace. And we're gonna take the bikes and we're gonna go to town. It's supposed to be a festival today. Every Friday, every week, every first weekend of the month, right, baby? Yes, every the, Friday. Every Friday night festival, and then during the day on Saturday and Sunday. We're here in uh, Tidewater Marina, you know, pretty good. We had a good time, uh, and we're going to see the town. Let's go, baby, before it gets dark. Woohoo! Okay, baby, you gotta fold your bike if you wanna get into the festival. Yeah. <laughs> Cover the Grace Festival. Every fresh first Friday of every month, right? Very nice. Hi. Oh, how are you? Good. Good to see you too. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Wow, look at this festival, baby. So nice, huh? Wow. Yep, how about the Grace Festival? Every first Friday of every month. Local vendors, local products, local food. Local bands. Right in the waterfront. Continue.
Baby, we made it to McGregor's, this super cool restaurant with a patio facing the river. Live music, really nice place, huh? GoPro. Yeah, waterfront. This is where we like it. It's good too. It smells really good. Good steak, baby. That's what I want. Good steak. This looks really good. Nice dinner, baby. Harder the Grace. Good job, Harder the Grace. Good morning, baby. Here in Harder the Grace, it's finally Saturday, so we're gonna play all day, cooking breakfast. Check it out with chorizo, omelets. It's gonna be good. Listening to Julio Iglesias in a beautiful day. Check this out. Fall day is about 65 degrees. Maybe 68 degrees is gonna be like 70. Look at this day. Wow, look at this. What a day. Everybody's getting the sailboat ready to go sailing. It's just a perfect day. We're gonna go biking, we're gonna fly the drone, we're gonna go have Bloody Marys in the different waterfront restaurants. It's just gonna be a nice day. Really looking forward. Woohoo! Cover the grace. All right, baby, we're going to take the drone, get in our backpack. We're gonna go to the lighthouse, and then we're gonna go to the lock and the bridge. We're gonna fly the drone, make some amazing videos here in Hyper the Grace. Woo. Excellent. Our amazing bikes. Super cute little houses here in Harvard the Grace. Check it out. This is the statue of the French General Lafayette that uh, helped the Americans on their independence. They say that also, I think the name of the city, baby, right? What's a uh, name? Uh, because he said that the city remind him of his city in, in French, called Harbor de Grace or something like that. I don't remember. We, I need to double check on that one. <laughs> nice. Well, this is the site of the ferry. Before the bridge, people used to take the ferry, including General Washington and his troops. Super nice. Baby, in the other side of town, you have the lock, the lock house, the museum of the lock house. Let's check it out. For a little history about the locks here. I mean, the Susquehanna River, huge river, goes way up hundreds of miles in, in, inland. So it, before roads was the use for transportation. And the locks, the river can have uh, falls and rocky places, high currents. So they used to build uh, canals on the side of the river and uh, you know the hills maybe hills going up and down they do locks to to put the boats up and down the different uh, you know land levels these are uh, lock work until uh, the beginning of the century amazing huh 
And that's the house. The lock keeper's house. Let's check it out. This is the lock, lock keeper's house museum. Same building from 200 years ago. The log house operated from 1840 to 1897 until the uh, railroad was uh, bridge was uh, built. Incredible. Thank you for watching. We hope these videos have helped promote the Chesapeake Bay. If you're new to our channel, check out our introduction video. Also, help us promote the Chesapeake Bay by giving this video a like and subscribe.